Hello. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the cell shader. It is now selectable in the new shading model tab. I've got this Hulk model set up with normal maps, and I'm going to switch the photo reel to cell. And you can me immediately see the effects of it in OpenGL and in VPR. Um, if I rotate the object, you can see that it's pretty quick and OpenGL GL and VPR match pretty much. And uh, now I'm going to start tweaking the keys. So I want the, the shadows of the object to be darker. In this case, they are too bright, the shadow side of the object. So I'm going to take the last key and make it completely black. So now we have a nice contrast in the shadow areas. I'm going to increase the range a bit to get a bigger transition and move the brighter highlights away a little bit. Now if I rotate the light, we've got a nice dark contrasty cell shaded hulk. Of course these, um, these are colors and they are being multiplied with the base color of the current material and the diffuse and specular models react to the material selected. So if I want to make a car paint hulk, it, I can do that, or conductor hulk, um, etc. But let's just stick with the principle BSDF. If I adjust the roughness, you can see that the the cell shading changes. I can change the specular level. I can change the surface color. And I can use textures. I've got this dry ground texture set up. If I connect it to the color, we now have the thing instead of the Hulk. And I can also because these are being multiplied with the texture color, I can ad adjust the tonality of the keys a little bit better by changing the color of the key. We have several curve modes. Right now I'm using stepped. We have linear and hermite and bezier all with slightly different results. I've got, I'm going to stick with the step. The specular model can be textured. So if I connect the texture to the roughness, you can see that the, the changes are pretty clear. And I can also connect it to the specular channel and all of these are reflected both in OpenGL and VPR for making things like hair I can uh, let's use VPR I can increase the anisotropy it will also affect the specular highlights. This way you can make anime hair pretty pretty easily. That is a nicer tropic. And this is a quick look at the new cell shading shading model in Lightwave 2018.